Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my last chapter about the four Myers telephotos, have you spotted any one of them? I have, the Primotar 135. I disclosed too that I bought from Master Kuang a Lidit 30mm f3.5, second generation, for my strong desire to get to know how good that lens is. He introduced me to an extra one the Oresta 100mm f2.8. Both of them finish in black metal. Two lenses from the 60s. A complete range of new interchangeable lenses. The Zebra Error. In this chapter, I will focus on the Lidded 30mm f3.5, which is a retrofocus lens design. And what means retrofocus? Retrofocus lens design was pioneered by Pierre Engineer in the early 50s, which permits a short lens, optical focal length, while providing a greater back focus distance. For short, is a wide-angle lens that uses an inverted telephoto design and typically has the outermost lens group with negative power, with convergent elements behind them. Designing a retrofocus lens fully free from barrel distortion can be difficult and because the rear element is further away from the film or sensor plate, retrofocus design also suffers less dignity than conventional lenses. The first generation retrofocus angle lenses were available from almost every lens manufacturer, with a focal length of 35mm and speeds between 4.5 and 3.5 which consisted of simple triplets or tessar types with an upstream diverging lens. In this case, the Primogon 35mm 4.5 was in range since 1955, but soon nobody wanted to be satisfied with the angle of view of just over 60 degrees of these 35mm lenses. While other manufacturers were already working on expanding the angle view to over 80 degrees. Hubert Uberch, designer of this lens, set about crossing the 70 degree mark first, and the Lidl version 2 was again launched at 1963 Autumn Fair. To achieve the shorter focal length, Uberch was forced to put in much more effort than the before with the Primogon 35mm f4.5. The Lidded used the significantly more powerful phosphate Schwerin for the front lens instead of fluorcron. Two correct image errors that had increased due to the use of such a significantly negative refractive power, the triplet basic lens was expanded by an additional biconvex converging lens. The result was a fairly modern squat structure made up of five individually standing lenses. As seen in this graphic, the back focus was 22.5% longer than the focal length. This made the Lidl 30mm f3.5 suitable for all single lens reflex cameras, as well as for viewfinder cameras with rear lens shutters such as Altix, which were produced in small numbers and already discontinued. The problem was no suitable attachable viewfinder for this camera. The Lidl 30mm f3.5 was so balanced that it was able to remain in the manufacturer's product range for three decades without being completely outdated. And now let's watch how this lens performs. 